exactly. Right. Uh, also, love our next guest. She was brought up by her single mum. She left home after her spent four years living on and off in hostels. And last week, her first album was nominated for the prestigious Mercury Music Prize. She's called Speech to Bell, and she's here to talk more about her life and music. Good morning. Good morning. You okay? I'm good. Early morning for you? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a little listen now to the upcoming single. This is uh, Better Days. Which I noticed you were studiously not watching yourself. Did you? Yeah, you were sort of looking down, not looking at the monitors. I just are you are you used to the idea of seeing? Because is it honestly, I'm not that used to it. I'm not that used to it. I'm not even that used to listening to my own album. Um, it 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 only came out last month, June the first. Um, I only kind of held the actual finished CD like a month ago. Because it's, it's such an extraordinary story that, that you have. Um, take us back a little bit. Tell us how you got into to the music business. We, as we said there, you spent some time on the streets. From what age? Well, I, um, uh, I left home when I was about 19. Um, spent some time in hostels and some time in, in, uh, with friends. Um, and also, as I got older, I, I, I started to rent um, you know, a place with my friend and, and things like that. So I spent about four years away from home. Um, I will say now though, but I, I've gone back to my mum's house, which is one of the things that I definitely wanted to, to, to get across. Um, it, it, you know, it's good to go out in the world and, and see and experience different things, but and what you know, you saw... ultimately being at home was, was, was the best thing for me. You know? And ultimately what you saw whilst during yeah. that period really was the inspiration for this, provided the inspiration for, for the songs. The lyrics are very, yeah. very personal and particularly about the relationship with your dad in, in one of the songs. Tell us about that. Yeah, that song, Daddy's Little Girl. Actually, that song is, um, came from Michael Jackson, Human Nature. It's one of my favourite songs of all time, so I took it to the studio and we uploaded it. And... Um, Wayne Lotek, who's, who's a producer, was like, you've got to figure out what it is about this song you really like. So I was like, I think it might be the, the, the drums. So, we, so we, we copied the drums of the song and eventually evolved into Daddy's Little Girl. So if you play that song with Human Nature, the beginning, uh, 10 seconds are pretty much the same. And the themes that you talk about, because yeah. I mean, I, I listened to it last night, and the themes you talk about, your relationship with your dad, because he, yeah. he left, he, he had no part, effectively has had no part in your life. Yeah. And... The, I mean, there are themes, anyone who's been through that, I haven't, but they will pick up on that, your sense of being sort of left on your own mm. and desperately wanting that. Yeah, I think so. I think I wanted it more than I realised when I was younger. Um, and I think that letter, uh, that, that song, which is essentially like a letter to my father, I think that's what I'm saying. Um, and it wasn't until I'd finished the song and was listening to it I kind of actually heard what I was saying. It's a very brave thing to do, to, you know, to put your emotions out into the public domain like that. Yeah, yeah, but you know... But then that's what resonates. That's the concept, of, right? That, yeah. That, that's, it, it's speech therapy, it's, it's about having therapy for music. So how did you go back, and you've, you've um, gone back to your mums, as you say, how did, how did that come about, and, and, and really, and how does all this tie in with suddenly having this fantastic launch, this amazing album that you went to Australia to, to uh, produce? How did all that come about? Um, I, I changed my life, basically. Um, I, I didn't want to be in the environments I was in when I was staying in the hostel and things like that. I didn't want to be around the people I was around anymore. I didn't feel like it was the right thing for me to be doing. So, you know, I, me and my mum uh, got a better relationship and I moved back in and that's when I basically started really looking for a record deal and then trying to get things together. I said to speech before we came on, I said, that, now, I'm not normally drawn 
to the, the kind of music like you do. Crossing, but we knew like what a, you meant. An yeah. old man. <laughs> but the, uh, some of the tracks I really genuinely liked. The one I chose, uh, the number four on the album, you said, said I got some... Uh, yeah, that's the most hip-hop track on the album. <laughs> it, it was took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, I said, you might be a, a hip-hop fan at heart. Deep down? Yes. Somewhere? Mm -hmm. It's a kind of gentler hip-hop sound, particularly mm -hmm. got the female voice, and you've also got various accompaniments all the way through in terms of the underlying music as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> We wanted the music to be like a film score for, for, the, for the different songs. Well, we wish you all the best with the upcoming awards and uh, all the attention you're getting. Hope Thank you enjoy you. it. Yeah. So sort of. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. I just got a win now. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have you back, nice. on. We'll <laughs> be back on when you do. Really good to meet you. Thank you very you much. Too. It's a great nice album. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you.